Hi, this particular video comes at the end of a playlist on working out the areas of sectors of circles. Um, and what we've been looking at is um, something like this, where you've got an angle of, say, 120 degrees and sides of 10.4. And what you've been asked to do is to calculate the overall area of this particular uh, shape. And the way that we've done that is we've said, well, we've got a sector or a fraction of a circle, so that's going to give us the area equals 120 out of the 360 degrees of a full circle, and we're going to multiply that by pi r squared, which is the formula that we use to work out the area of a circle. So that would be pi times in this particular case, 10.4 squared. And if you work that area out, that will give you 113.2648 uh, meters squared. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. And if you're not quite sure about that, please do have a look at the previous videos on the playlist. And there's about three or four examples of using that formula to be able to work out the area of the sector. Okay, so I just want to take this a little bit further now into the realm of sort of A, A star type questions where what they do is they give you that and then they say, well, actually, what we want you to do is to work out the area of this top piece here. Okay, well, we know the overall area of the sector is that, but the question now is how do we then work out the area of just a little bit at the top? Okay, well... We can use this triangle here, and if we work out the area of a triangle which has got this, so it's 120 degrees and it's 10.4 at each side. Okay, so that is the area of this triangle here, and then once we work out that area, we take it away from this and we should be able to then calculate the remainder. OK, so if we've got the area of a triangle, we've got now two sides and an inclusive angle. Well, the formula we use for that is a half A, B, sine C, um, where A and B are the two, angle, uh, the two sides, and sine or C is going to be the angle which is included um, within the two sides. So I'm going to plug those numbers straight in. I've got a half multiply by 10.4 times 10.4 times the sine of 120 degrees and if I put that into my calculator I end up with a very long very boring number which is um, 46.8346 meters squared okay so I've now got the area of the sector which is this one here and if you're not sure, please do have a look in the previous videos. Now the area of the triangle, which is, I'm using the formula half AB sine C. And again, if you're not sure, um, I will post a video on that. I think I might have one already. I'm not entirely sure, but there are videos available for how to use that formula. Um, so now I've got two separate calculations. If I take one, if I take this away from this, I'm going to end up with the area of the shaded bit, which is this bit right at the very top, which is going to be 113 take away 46.8346, and that's going to give me 66.4302 meters squared, and that's the answer to my question. Sometimes they do ask you to put it to three significant figures or a couple of decimal places, but to three significant figures it would be 66.4, or to two decimal places it would be 66.43. Um, I hope that's okay with you. I'm going to post a few more examples on the playlist of these kind of questions, but really you're looking at the area of the sector, which is no different to what we've done in the previous videos, then the area of this particular triangle, take one away from the other, and that will give you the area of the shaded piece at the top. I hope that's been useful. Please do subscribe to the uh, site, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.